NAACP and Pastor St. Louis Baptist Church, let me welcome all of you to our city and particularly to the Fourth Ward. We're here today because, as all of us are keenly aware, wherever we live in America, violence exists. And we have seen over the last several weeks, months, and years, even as recent as yesterday in Decatur, Georgia, <laughs> acts of violence perpetuated by people all over our country. And we're grateful that we have a congressman who is a native Patersonian who is standing up and speaking out against violence. So Bill, let's give Bill Pasquale a big round of applause. You know, I'm going to tell you a quick story. I know it's hot out here, but we're going to make it hot for those who want to use guns against our kids. All right. All right. I, uh, I was in the mayor's office for one week. I was in the mayor's office for one week, and it was breaking an entry around 9th Avenue where I live. I responded after the police were there, did my job. Police officer said to me, you know, Mayor, are you still living on 9th Avenue? I said, yeah. Police officer is long gone now. He's a good police officer, but he wasn't using his head. He said to me, you know, Mary, you ought to think about moving. So I thought maybe I misheard him. So I'm the mayor of this city. I lived here for 40 years there at the same spot. You want me to move? I said, well, for your own safety. Well, where would you have me move? In Patterson. He said, well, maybe you ought to look about something on the outskirts out of the city. Oh, that'll go over great with my constituency. <laughs> Knowing how parochial we are about those ideas here in Patterson. I said to the officer, no, nah, I'm going to stay where I am and do the best that I can. I never forgot that story. I certainly didn't forget it when I go to the halls of Congress. Reducing violence on our streets has been one of my greatest goals. <laughs> I think this legislation will move us in that direction. We have a long way to go. So school's going to open in a few weeks. I want to make sure in my town, town I live in, that kids can go to school safely and go home safely. There cannot be any exceptions. I want to make sure that one woman across the street Go shopping. They have to walk backwards or not walk at all. I mean, we can't accept this any longer. You can talk about it till you're blue in the face. And you get caught up in the paralysis. We are not going to wait for the next tragedy. 